hello everyone so here in this problem we have to evaluate limit x tends to 4 x square minus 7x plus 12 whole divided by x square minus 3x minus 4 now before solving this problem if you will observe the question then you can see that there is algebraic function given in the question and whenever we have algebraic function then we always start with direct method and if direct method fails it means if it is giving indeterminate form that is the form 0 by 0 then in that case we apply other methods so let's start with direct method so here i'll consider this given limit as l and i'll say it is limit x tends to 4 x square minus 7x plus 12 upon x square minus 3x minus 4. So, let us see what we get by direct method. So, in direct method, we substitute this value directly in the given function. So, this will become 4 square minus 7 into 4 plus 12 upon 4 square minus 3 into 4 minus 4. So, here I am applying direct method. So, therefore, in the numerator, we will get 4 square that is 16 minus 28 plus 12 upon 4 square again 16 minus 12 minus 4. So, this will give us 16 plus 12 that is 28 minus 28 which is 0 upon 16 minus 12 4 minus 4 0. So, now this limit is giving us the value as 0 by 0 which is called as indeterminate form. Now, to solve such indeterminate form, we have a method called as L. Hopital's rule. But here, but since you do not have L. Hopital's method in the MSBT, so whenever we get indeterminate form, then we say that direct method failed, and that time we apply some other method. Now, if you will observe the given question, then in the numerator we have the quadratic equation as well as in the denominator we have quadratic equation. So, we can find out the factors of this quadratic equation and if we are getting the factors of both the quadratic equation, then we can apply the method of factorization to get the answer. So, here if we will see the equation which is given in the numerator, then for 12, we can have factor as minus 4 and minus 3 where multiplication of these two numbers is minus 12 and addition of these two is minus 7. Similarly, if we will try to find out the factor of this denominator that is minus 4, then we can say it is minus 4 and plus 1 since the multiplication of these two numbers is minus 4 and addition of these two numbers is minus 3. So, here so, here we can get the factors and hence I will apply the method of factorization. So, here I will say by method of factorization, we can get factors of numerator as minus 4 and minus 3. So, I will write it here as x minus 4 and x minus 3. Similarly, in the denominator, for this we have factor minus 4 and 1. So, I will say x minus 4 and x plus 1. So, after this, we have x minus 4 as a common factor in numerator and denominator. Hence, cancelling it, we will get a term x minus 3 and x plus 1 for which we will again apply direct method and therefore we will get answer as 4 minus 3 upon 4 plus 1 which is 1 upon 5. 
So, here after finding the factors, we are cancelling the common factors from numerator and denominator and whatever term is remaining for that term, we are again applying direct method where we substitute this value directly in the given question or the given term. So, after substituting this 4 in the numerator, we got 4 minus 3 and in the denominator, we got 4 plus 1 and hence answer is 1 by 5. Now, if you will observe the factor that we cancelled from numerator and denominator and the limit which is given, then there is one certain relation present between the numbers. If you will see, then here we have the limit x tends to 4 that is the number is 4 and the factor that we have cancelled is x minus 4. So, what I want to tell you that in method of factorization wherever we get limit as certain number then always we will find the opposite sign factor in the given term or in the given function and it will be always cancelled. So, since here we have plus 4 as a limit we are getting factor as minus 4 which is getting cancelled. Let us say next time we are getting minus 2 as a limit then certainly the factor which will be cancelling would be plus 2. So, this is the answer that is L equal to 1 upon 5. Thank you.